Hi there, in today's tech tip I would like to show you how you can add custom parts to the SolidWorks Toolbox library. As you may know, SolidWorks Toolbox is an add-in module that's included in SolidWorks Professional and Premium, and it's a database of standard hardware items like bolts and screws, nuts and washers, things like that. However, you may have custom parts that you'd like to add to that toolbox so that all users have a standard location where they can drag and drop their custom items from. Here's a model of a cotter pin that I downloaded from the 3D Content Central website. Before you add your custom part to the toolbox, you'll want to make sure that you've created all of the appropriate sizes and configurations that you anticipate needing to use. You also want to make sure that you've set up your custom properties with things like descriptions and part numbers and material information so that the bills and materials will automatically populate when you use those toolbox items. Now before we place this in the toolbox, let's find a place to put it. I'm going to put my toolbox item in the ANSI inch standard. You can place your items under any of the existing categories, such as the pins folder, or you can create your own product categories. You do this by right clicking on the icon for the standard and choosing new folder. You can create subcategories under that new folder again by right clicking and that's a convenient way that you can organize all of your own custom parts. Once you've created the, the uh, proper category now we can add the part to the toolbox library. From the SolidWorks Feature Manager tree, right click on the top node of the tree and choose Add to Library. In the Property Manager, specify a name for the new file, specify the folder location within the toolbox, so this will go in the ANSI inch standard under the My Parts category in the Pins subfolder, and optionally you can add a description. Click the OK check mark, and the part is automatically added to the toolbox database, which we can see over here in the preview window. Now we're ready to use that part in an assembly. Like any other toolbox item, now I can simply drag and drop from the toolbox window into my active assembly. Specify the size configuration that you want, and hit OK. Now we can just mate that into place and we're done. So there's a quick and easy way you can take your standard parts and add them to the SolidWorks Toolbox library.